Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for clicking on 5 News Web News. It is Thursday, June 6. I'm Matt Heckel. Here are some of the top stories we've been following today here on 5 News. We're actually going to start out with the word that one man is dead after an accident this morning. A 50-year-old man was apparently hooking up a low boy to a tractor trailer when it started moving. That happened around 1st Street in Fairmont. It apparently continued to roll into traffic, hitting two other cars. We're working to get more information about what happened. Be sure to stay with 5 News tonight for the latest. Meanwhile, we're working to get the conditions of two people that had to be flown to the hospital after crashing into a power pole last night. That happened around 730 along Locust Avenue. Deputies say the driver fishtailed while trying to avoid another car, and that's when they ended up ramming into the pole. We're told the driver and passenger were seriously injured. Their names have not yet been released. And a teenager had to be sent to Ruby Memorial Hospital yesterday after a head-on collision in Harrison County. Deputies say a 16-year-old girl was on Route 270 heading toward Lost Creek when she went around a curve, crossed the double line, and hit a truck head-on. Deputies say the girl was flown to Ruby with what they believe to be non-life-threatening issues, but they say she wasn't in good shape. The driver of the truck was a 28-year-old man sent to UHC with minor injuries. Be sure to stay with 5 News for the latest on that. Well, crews work through the night searching for any survivors of a building collapse in Philadelphia. At least six people died when the four-story building fell, caving in the roof of a thrift shop next door. The collapsed building was empty at the time. Construction crews had been working to demolish the structure. City officials say there were no existing violations and the company had all of the proper permits for demolition. County jury has decided that a local 911 center did not do enough when called for help, and that's why a man died. Back in 2008, Judith Johnson called 911 three times in order to get help for her husband. During those calls, she was told that an ambulance was on the way to pick him up, but that never showed up. Apparently, Mecca called one ambulance company, but they were already busy on a call. The one they called never answered. Johnson decided to take her husband to the hospital, but he died, and as a result, she has been awarded a little less than $900,000. Well, a driver's ed teacher who recently resigned from a Marion County school is now accused of having sex with a student. State police arrested 29-year-old Michael Waller yesterday. The Marion County Board of Education just recently accepted his resignation from East Fairmont High School. According to a criminal complaint, Waller was having sex with a 17-year-old student. He's also accused of supplying alcohol to minors. If you have any information about the case, call the West Virginia State Police Crimes Against Children Unit. That number 367 2701. Well, police are looking for a woman they say stuck her hand through the window of a hot spot in Mon County yesterday, grabbed some money, then took off. That happened around 3.30 yesterday at a hot spot in Blacksville called Just One More Two Bar. That's along the Mason Dixon Highway. Now, witnesses say that woman took off toward Marion County. When we get more information on exactly what happened, we'll be sure to let you know. A man is facing drug charges after deputies in Upshur County say they pulled him over and found meth and pills in his car. Yesterday, deputies stopped 24-year-old Willie DeBar because the registration on his car had apparently expired. That's when they allegedly found the ingredients you need to make meth and oxycodone. DeBar is in the Tigert Valley Regional Jail. And no word yet on how a fire started at a Braxton County home Tuesday morning that left one man dead. That man's name has not yet been released. His father and nephew were able to escape the blaze, which started around 4 o'clock in the Strange Creek area. The fire also spread to a trailer where four people were inside, but they got out as well as an outbuilding was also damaged. And let's take a quick look at what our newsroom is working on for tonight for First at 5 and 5 News at 6. First up, we're going to have the latest on the investigation into the apparent robbery of a local hotspot. We're going to tell you how you can help police find whoever's responsible. We're also going to get your reaction to the news that the TSA is apparently dropping its plans to allow small knives on board planes. And Chief Meteorologist Ken Meehan is going to let you know when this ugh, rainy weather is looking to clear up in your first alert forecast. That is tonight on First at 5 and 5 News at 6. And that's what's making headlines today. Be sure, of course, to tune in tonight. And until then, have a great day, everybody.